Hi, Doug Turner here from NewBIM Systems. Just wanted to quickly show you how to use OpenOffice. The, um, you should have installed it by now. If you haven't, just put me on hold and go and do it right now. And uh, it's pretty easy. I use Microsoft Office um, to do my presentations, but this is a free one and it's just as good. So I'll show you an example that I've done for you. You can download it and play around with it a little bit. Oh, a piece of cake. And uh, right, so I'm just going to run the example. Everything happens automatically, and you'll see it's it's you know it's pretty good. And I'm sure you guys can you know make this stuff look even better uh, for your own. So this is just an example one for you anyway. So here goes. I'm going to run it for you. And I'm using all free music and stuff. So. simple and I think you agree you know it looks alright it looks pretty good and you'd screen capture all of that and stick it in we'll, which we'll learn next but just want to show you a few things about this okay how to use this stuff so the first thing is you notice I've only got five templates here it's pretty easy once you set up the first one uh, you can save these you know you'll just go save as um, introduction you know and then save as your next video and save as your next video keep the template just change a few things about it you know maybe the first two screens will be exactly the same and the third screen what's you going to learn so you, you just change the text in here you'll have an, a different video perhaps that you're using in here and the ending page will be the same you're just changing what you're going to see in the next video so as I say you're just building this takes 10 15 minutes maybe half an hour to an hour at, at most learning well, I just want to show you a few interesting things now obviously you can change the font and everything that you you want to enter right up here it's really easy you know air drop shadows blah 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 uh, inserting pictures so if you want to insert a picture like that you know just go insert so insert you can insert video insert whatever you like pretty much pictures tables objects charts so you just go movie and sound in this case picture from a file you just go away on your computer search for the file it was that one that one there that i'm using and i inserted it just resized it you can just drag it like that you know just to make it bigger or smaller however you want it um, Yep, and so there are two main things I want just to quickly show you. As I say, I'm going to let you download this so you can have a play around with that. Uh, the, there are three things actually I want to show you. So you've got slide transitions and you've got custom animations. Now the custom animations is for the text. Okay, so for example on this one, this milestone builders, I just highlight the text which I've already built one here but I can go add okay I, I say what I want it to do I want it to spin and grow or whatever however I want it to fly in okay in this case if I highlight here what's the effect I've got is fade in and zoom so I've just added chosen fade in and zoom I wanted to start with previous so in other words 
when this thing starts, when the video starts automatically, I want this to, to happen first. Okay, so with with the transition, if you like. The next lot of text on present, so I just highlighted that separately to that part. And so if I click on that, all I've done is gone, I've highlighted it, gone add, and what I added was spiral in, but after previous. So after that one, I want that to happen. Okay, what about your site here.com? I highlighted that. And I got it to spin in as well. So in other words, uh, a spiral in it's the effect. And with previous. So in other words, these two I want to happen at the same time. I could have actually just highlighted both like that. And actually gone add. Gone spiral in. Split. Whatever I wanted to do. Now, we've set the transition. As you already saw before, I said I want it to do, you know, dissolve in. That's how I wanted the screen to appear. So then, the important thing is though, for the slow transition, I wanted that sound to start. Now, if I wanted to continue to the next slide, all I did was, I clicked down here, I went apart, apart, you'll hear a dling sound. Okay. And then once you hear that sound, change it to no sounds. So what will happen is the music that's playing in one will continue to play in two. Uh, same again, highlighted the text, selected the transition. So if we go to transitions, you'll see it's not transitions, custom animations, sorry. So squeeze page, I selected boomerang in. Um, I selected with previous. Okay. Now, you just do that continuously for each of these with your video. Again, I just went insert media or video sounds. I selected my movie that I wanted to insert and it just comes up as a big question mark like that. Um, I click on it, I can see custom animations, video here, and the effect is start. And how did I do that? I went, so when you go add, instead of seeing this one, what you want to do is go to miscellaneous effects, start media. Okay. And uh, that's pretty much it. Just remember though, I wanted the music to stop after this video. So when this one starts, I wanted the music to stop. So you will see if I go to transition, slight transition, with when I enter this video, I want to stop the previous sound, which was the music that was playing for 1, 2, and 3. And that's it. And uh, hopefully that shows you everything you need to know. As I said, just play around with this template that you've downloaded, and you'll be able to see how I've done all of this. It's pretty damn simple. And... Uh, you know, you've got help here, and there's lots and lots of video how to use OpenOffice. But remember, slide transition equals the slide you want. So how do you enter that slide? Not how you exit to the next one. It's how you enter that slide. Same so with that one. You know, how I enter from 1 to 2. And for 3, it's from how I go from 2 to 3. But you want them all to happen automatically. And the only thing you want to happen on mouse click is your video. See, so that one you want to happen on mouse click. But otherwise, that's it for this one. And on the next one I'll show you how to um, capture your video using the free program I've also asked you to download. Thanks for watching.